and reviewing the film and watching the film. Uh, it was a very competitive, hard fought game. I thought our kids played hard, I thought they played physical. It was a very physical game uh, within what was going on. Uh, you know, obviously, didn't get the outcome to which we wanted, but you know, we have to learn to, in my opinion, capitalize on opportunities. I think we're still growing to understand how to play at that level consistently and do those things in those great moments. And uh, they had a very good team, uh, played very well, played big moments very well, made certain plays when they had to. We had opportunities to make them. We have to learn to make them. We have to create better, you know, keep practicing to do that, but uh, we have to learn to capitalize on opportunities. When you play at teams of that caliber and used to winning and having success, <clears throat> when you get those opportunities, you got to take them. And we had plenty of them. Didn't, get, didn't make enough of them. But again, I thought we competed very well. I thought we played very hard. I thought kicking game was very sound. Defense, we played well, gave up some things, gave up a drive. Offensively, it was guy here to drop a ball, miss a throw, miss a block. Everybody takes a turn or two, and all of a sudden, then those drives are over. And then you do get drive. We had three drives in the game were over 14 plays that uh, were long, sustained drives that didn't get to finish, get, missed a touchdown opportunity on the first one and the second one, uh, got the last one. But had opportunities in the game at other points in time. Good field position, critical drops, or a missed throw, or a missed block, and then defensively, give up a couple plays, which we could have almost shut, had them shut down. And they made some critical throws and catches at certain times. And uh, you know, but that's what good teams do. They're a very good football team, and we're going to continue. We're, I say, it's not discouraged. We have to be a lot more technical, and uh, keep repping in our repetition and experience of how to do things, and create a little bit better habit in the right moments so those things come. We're going to have plenty more opportunities. Uh, out there to uh, show what kind of team we have and get ready this week against Lamar, play a very good team, and then get into our conference schedule. So we'll have to do that, play a playoff team in 1AA uh, this weekend. So you have to do that and then get ready to go. Now, Question? Dr. How good is an example is Ronnie Elam to some younger guys, a guy who stuck it out mm -hmm. uh, and is making plays as a senior as opposed to just leaving the program? Well, that's, that's, the, that's the thing about it is you don't realize and you don't have those guys anymore because, like I say, guys don't play that as much and they want to leave. That, to me, it's, it's the greatest compliment to his development and what goes on and what college football is about and why you do stick it out and stay in the program and keep playing. And he is playing really good football right now, uh, taking advantage of his, he's taking advantage of those opportunities. He's worked to really get himself better and done a really good job playing really good football. Very happy for him. That was a really nice play he made on that ball. To the left, Zach? Both of them he's made, matter of fact, he's made really good catches. Jimbo, on that final drive, any thought to going to a hurry-up offense? Or we were. This? Some couldn't get communicated. Some of the younger guys, they were in a hurry-up. They were going just got to get the communication because they were different blitzes. We were in a hurry. To the right, Gabe. Yeah, Coach, I wonder if you could give us a status update on Corbin and PB specifically. Uh, Corbin will be out for the season. He has a season-ended injury and uh, his hamstring. And PB should, should be okay. He just had – he got an ankle, and that's what kept happening. He had it, had it happen twice to him. And uh, in that deal, so uh, he was, uh, but he should be should be okay. I think they think now. It swells him as it did, but it was you know, on the day that the game was pretty painful. The right side, Rob. What were some positives that you took out of the game? Competitiveness, physicality, the opportunities to make those plays uh, on offense and defense. There was plays we made all over. We didn't execute it well enough, but we're right there, eyeball to eyeball, and we said all these mistakes we made. And the score was twenty-four to ten in the football game. Against the number one team in the country on the road with a lot of you very young players. So I feel very comfortable about this team. It's just a matter of us having the experience to make those critical plays. I mean, we had six, we had seven drop balls. You can make six, seven, make some of those catches. You missed some throws, missed a block or two, come out of coverage and give up a big play, give up, had a couple uh, penalties that, you know, just weren't the smartest at the time, allowed them to get a long drive in those situations. And you're still 24 to 10 and had another opportunity. You're right there eyeball to eyeball playing with them. So it's not like you're, your talent level or anything else, we just have to keep playing and play better in those situations. It's the first time we, since we've been here, we've went into a game against the number one team in the country, and people expect us to have one heck of a chance to win. And that's, a, that's part of the learning curve in which we have to go through. I love that the people had the expectations for us. That means the growth in which we've shown. Last year in any of those games, we weren't expected to win. They would just say, let's just go play well. People were just hoping we play well. We were expecting to win and hoping to win, and they were, thought we should win. And I think we've made a lot of growth in that area, but you got to play in those moments and grow in your organization and your experience in those situations to get to those situations. To the left, Chuck, and then Olin to the right. Just following up on the on the Corbin news there, 
I know you're deep at running back, but how does this shuffle that whole situation going forward? No, we're just keeping the same rotation. Can both be back this week? Got Spiller in that group. Got Cordarian Richardson and got Prince. Got four really good players. And also from the standpoint of you look at, you know, this is a young team. How do you want them to react? What do you want them to do? Well, the, the worst game? thing about this game that we can come out of it with is we don't learn from it. That we don't learn and have the learning experience of how you have to go through it and how you have to play it. And that's what I'm I want us to come back this week ready to practice, ready to go, keep creating even better habits. Because like I always say, when you have great habits, when pressure comes, those habits come straight to the surface of being able to do them in the biggest moments and not worrying about winning. Because sometimes you go in and you, all you're focusing on is winning. It shouldn't be. You should go in focusing on playing well. When you play well, you win. And that's part of the growing experience, which hopefully we can learn from this. If we do, then we can progress and we have plenty more opportunities as the year goes on. And that's another thing that's encouraged me about this too, is that the attitude of our players have taken and they knew it after the game. They knew that, you know, they had opportunities and they got to grow from them. And that's what I think they'll do. Right side, Ole. Coach, you told us that Jay Sean uh, that does everything on the field, mm -hmm. catches, pass blocks, all those things. Um, can you feel like, is Isaiah ready to be able to do all the things? Oh, yeah, I think he has. Do? He's played pretty well and he can catch, he has all those skill sets. And so then Kubota, Kubota can catch the ball too very well. All those, all of our backs all have really good hands. None of them can't do that. But I mean, obviously Jay Sean was doing it at a higher level, more consistent because he was a starter and he'd been there. But those guys are very capable and can do that very well. And if I could ask one more thing, mm -hmm. um, do you, uh, do, do y'all try to discourage Kelton from scrambling, or do you encourage him, or what? Is it? it seems like sometimes there's scramble opportunities. Scramble over fields, this. man. That you, you don't discourage or encourage anybody. You got to play the game and feel what you're reading down the field. As, as a quarterback's job is not to run. Quarterback's job is to make decisions and feel the pressure and react accordingly. So, to the left, Suzanne, and then to the right, Justin. Just better follow that up because sometimes quarterback's jobs are to run. If so, it, if the situation is there, it's mm -hmm. based off the reaction. Well, were there stuff when you looked on film, did you think maybe he should have scrambled? Not really. Okay. Yeah, guys open and guys were you know, throwing the ball and catching it. And he ran a, he had a couple of runs, but no, there weren't any glaring opportunities to run that where he shouldn't have thrown the ball where guys were, that he was going through his progression. But I can think of off the top. There may have been one or so, but if I'm, if I'm missing, but I can't think of any off the top of my head. Well, and to um, transition to your running back situation now, do you see it being more running back by committee, or is Isaiah well, we're playing two like, before? We'll keep a two or three man rotation, just like we did before. But will Isaiah take like the majority of the snaps? We'll see as it goes, but he'll be he'll be the starter right now. Right side, Justin. Coach, what do you hope to see if the receivers bounce back after all those drops and just kind of inconsistent play? Well, they just got to play better. We got to keep getting them in practice, get them play better, and, and get them to do the things they do. They had been making those plays all camp and they've been making them all that week you know dead practice well and like I say it's all it's a team learning experience sometimes you want to win too bad sometimes you want to make a play too bad and that's all part of people don't understand that going into a game with those expectations and knowing you can win that game in those situations those are all learned things you have to learn our program has to learn and each player has to learn okay. so I think they'll have a good week of practice bounce back They're right back to fundamentals and basics to the left Zach and then Travis right next to you Jimbo secondary took some lumps last year, but how do you feel like they performed on Saturday, obviously, against Trevor Lawrence, and how's that prepare them going forward? I think they made some really nice plays. I think we did a really good job on defense. Like I said, they had a couple of plays. They made a couple of really big-time catches, too, uh, which, you know, they, they found a way to make that play. But I think they're getting better and better each week. Uh, coverage is knowing where their help is, and I think knowing each other and knowing how to play the coverage and, and the different situations. But, I, you know, they've played very well and played the ball for the most part, very well. A couple of times we didn't in that game. We had a couple of balls that they caught that we should have knocked down, I thought, but, you know, misjudged it. But for the most part, it played the ball very well. Travis and then Gabe. We talk about Ronnie Elam as a guy who stuck around and finally got his chance. Now it seems like uh, Jacob Cavoti is kind of in a, in a similar mm -hmm. position. Is it a similar kind of story with him? And, and what kind of uh, veteran presence has he had? He had a really good camp. He, he, I mean, he was, he was out last week. He had a minor injury, and he didn't, that's why he didn't play. But... Uh, <laughs> He's back this week, ready to go. But uh, he's had a really good camp. We've been with him in our two back stuff when we were going with the pony stuff. He was our number one guy coming out off the bench, doing that. So I mean, he's caught the ball, he ran the ball. Had like I say, had last scrimmage in the spring. I mean, last year he had 100 yards. He had 100 in the spring game. Uh, this camp he had a couple good scrimmages. So it was a great opportunity. He's 214, 18 pounds, somewhere in that range, and you know could run. So and catches the ball. Right side, Gabe, and then to the left, Cease. 
Jimbo, with how good your corners have looked. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, with Miles Jones and then Blades coming in. With Renfro back, what does that do for the competition? Does Renfro come in and start? Right well, we'll see. We'll keep where we go from there. But it means we'll be in a rotation, playing and doing well. And it gives you another body when you start to move in guys into nickel and dime and different positions in which you have. It allows that to be to be help out. Left side, cease. Jimbo, what about Juan's growth? Has he reached a point where he can lift a team when things aren't going well or the offense where he's not doing well? Yeah, he has and before. Maybe, and maybe he, didn't, he just didn't do that Saturday? He didn't play his best game. He got better as the game went on. He didn't play his best game. And, but we didn't play his best game around him either. I mean, you got seven major drops of 15 or more yards. He missed throws, uh, some opportunities he had. We got some pressure, which there shouldn't have been pressure, should have been picked up. Okay, you know, everybody took turns. You weren't in sync. And offensively, that can happen very easily. And then didn't pick it up, but he continued to grind. And now I say he had to, to drive in the, in the second half when he came out. We had a big drop the first drive. And he took us on two drives of 16, yard, 16 plays or more. Uh, and he came in and played well. Did he play his best game? No. But did he play hard? Yes. And to answer your question, he can do that. He's shown he can do that. When we played a very good football team, and we had opportunities and was continuing to get better. Down front, Brent. Along those lines, what does it say about him too when he was fully accountable afterwards, taking the blame? Yes, for there is nobody in our organization. I mean, it's, it must, he takes accountability for everything. That guy's the hardest worker, the first guy on the field, last guy off, saying everything like this. There's a quite a few bunch of those. We had a great group of those guys. And so, you know, doing all that. He's a high quality character young man that is so fun to coach and be around. And you want success to happen, and he's had some big games, and he'll continue to grow in what he does. But He'll have success because he'll, he'll work till he does it, and he's very talented. A couple more to the right, Justin. Coach Javon had talked about body language on the sidelines and how maybe he could have been better. Who's that? Javon Osmond saying about body language on the sidelines, how he could have been better about getting the younger guys, you know, hey, stay with it, stick with it. Mm -hmm. What do you see from, from that this week in practice about, you know, well, taking well, this hard, but, you know, step We forward. haven't seen practice yet, so I don't know. That's what I'm hoping. I, and, but from the reaction and the comments and the talking to the guys, they, they understand. And sometimes – Make sure we made them talk about it right afterwards. How do you feel? What was you feeling? So it's, it's fresh in your mind, you know what I'm saying? And they understood and then they get it. This is a team that wants to be coached. It's not a team that's being negative or anything else. And it wants to win very badly. It's working very hard. It's learning how to do and handle those moments. And that's the good thing about it. They've never been in those moments. They, they're, it, where they're walking in on the number one team in the country and say, everybody say, a lot of people think they can win the game. And that's a learned behavior to be able to deal with that, handle that. And a growth part, and that's the biggest tragedy is if we don't grow from it from the open and, and how we handle that. And hopefully we buy how we practice and go. And I think we will because I think we have a very good group of leaders who address those issues, not in a negative way, but in their own way and the other ways of, of which we have to grow. All right. Time for one more. All right. Yes, sir. To the left, Alex. Hey, Coach, you guys had a lot of penalties on defense last week, 15 yarders. Is, is discipline going to be a focus this week? There's no doubt. I mean, you got to stay in those games, the little things, the discipline, the, the minute little things that keep drives alive or on offense, they kill them. They set you back. We had a couple motion penalties. We had two or three motion penalties on offense from the noise and, you know, young guys on the silent counts and situations. Those things all, when you, they all magnify themselves when you play good teams. You know, sometimes you'll do that and you'll score a lot of points and say, well, y'all don't even mention them but they're always mentioned when that I do, no matter what. And I think those are things you can't have self-inflicted wounds. You got to play smart football. And sometimes penalties are, they're not unattained. I mean, you, you can always avoid them, but sometimes it happens. But there's a couple that we know wish we wouldn't have done. And we got to learn because especially when you play good people, all those things get exploited. And we're going to play some really good people down the road too. So we have to continue to get better now. Right. Thanks coach. We're good. We'll get Thank you.